It's the NBL Canada recap as the St. John Mill Rats visit the Scotiabank Centre to take on the Halifax Rainmen, who happen to be the only team left not to lose a game at home this season. The game unfortunately was delayed by almost two hours because St. John's bus had a malfunction and the team was delayed from arriving to the arena. When things finally get tipped off, the Hurricanes are a ball of energy and forced to turn over out the gate that leads to a wild sequence of plays, including two saves, a sweet pass, and an Anthony Criswell score. Criswell attacks a bucket again and Kyle Hunt is there to clean up the glass. Doug Herring had his fingerprints all over this game. He dishes a sweet pass to Anthony Stover for the finish. He then calls his own number and fires up this three. And then Herring finds a way into the lane once again and throws it up to Stover, who gets the hoop and the harm. The recently signed Johnny Mahane nails a three in his first game back with St. John. Gabe Freeman was another mill rat who had a big game. First, he hits a pair of back-to-back -back threes, and then later puts the ball on the floor and attacks the hoop. He led all scores with 25 points. Mike Glover did his part to keep the Hurricanes in the game. He backs down his defender for the score. He later goes to work down low again with a spin move and finish off the glass. And then Glover flips his clink scales pass over his head for the end one. However, one of the stories of this game was the interior defense of Anthony Stover, who swatted 10 shots on the night, tying an NBL Canada record for most blocks in the game. He also picked up a triple-double in the process. In the fourth and final frame, Corey Allman came to life and made several key plays down the stretch to ice the game for the Mill Rats, with a dagger coming right here. Aaron Jr. behind the back, gets it out to Allman. Allman fires for three. Bang! From downtown, Corey Allman with the dagger. The Mill Rats take the game 100-105, ending the Hurricanes' home undefeated streak. Corey Allman was big for St. John in the fourth quarter, and our man Vince Williams caught up with Mr. Allman after the game to talk about his incredible performance. Hi fans, I'm Vince Williams here at Scotia Bank Center for the NBL Canada post-game recap. I'm here with tonight's top performer between the Halifax Hurricanes and the St. John Mill Rats, Corey Allman. Corey, outstanding game for you. You had an outstanding second half. What got into you in that second half? Uh, you know, honestly, just just been hungry. You know, I, I was sitting over there, uh, you know, for a while. I was kind of upset. You know that. You know, in the first half, but uh, coach let me go, and and you know, I just found the rhythm fast. You know, so I had to show something. Long bus trip. You know, the bus, you know, basically broke down in a city in Truro. You guys were you know, here an hour late. It was an hour late start. What was the mindset coming into this game? No excuses. We all built this, we built this team together, and put this team together, and Coach Paul put this team together to win the championship. So whether we be 30 minutes late, whether we are hour and a half late, three hours late, it doesn't even matter. We still got to come out here and win a basketball game. Appreciate the time, Corey. Outstanding basketball game, 13 points in the second half. We were exploded. Definitely top performer tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm Vince Williams for the NBL Canada post-game recap.